The Lord says, The light has gone out of the churches. The veil remains intact. Trumpet call of God. July 23, 2007 From the Lord our God and Saviour The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord The light has gone out of the churches of men Therefore I, even I, have removed all candlesticks from their places and shall not return them again until the time is fulfilled. When all these men in authority humble themselves and seek my face and my glory, and turn from the glory of men, thus the veil is not yet lifted, for even these who turn to me do disobey, even all I've given them, a great stifling of my spirit. Refusing to be led by faith and in trust, embracing rather all doctrine, born of men and the harlot, from whom all abominations were conceived and passed down, says the Lord. No church of men, shall stand in the day of the Lord. For the true church and bride shall be taken, according to the truth her heart reveals. Yes, all those in whom I see of myself. And of these who do continually resist my word, who do pervert their way among many witnesses, they shall in no wise escape, but shall bring me glory in the day of the Lord, which comes very quickly. For behold, the hand of the Lord God is upon the multitude, and shall not be moved, and many sons and daughters shall come into glory by great tribulation. A great city shall be built up in the midst of many sorrows, yet in heaven great rejoicing. A city, a city, a city called martyrdom, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore, hear and understand the will of the Most High God, who reigns high above the heavens. The wheat shall be gathered and taken into the bosom of the prince. Yet the multitude shall be left in the refiner's fire, for by no other means shall these, even many of these called by the Christ's own name, come into glory as my everlasting treasure. It shall be done, it shall surely be, the Lord has spoken, and it shall be done, even in one week. I shall bring forth the truly converted of heart, humble and penitent, from all the earth. You shall surely behold the angels of heaven, ascending and descending upon the Son of Man, your Redeemer. Give him all glory. For the first harvest shall be lowly of the lowly, and the second plenteous, beyond the numbering of a man.